Hello, welcome to Texas Style Cuisine. Glad you could join us today. I'll tell you what I'm going to do is we're not going to be cooking here at the house. I'm going to take you back inside of my classroom again. We are getting ready for a Friday night tailgating party. And we did some mini tacos that I called pulled pork chilorio. All right, now we're gonna get started on our chili sauce. Now, uh, the inspiration for this uh, chili sauce came from a, a chef from Mexico City. Her name is Josefina Santa Cruz, and I had a chance to meet her here at the Culinary Institute of America here in San Antonio when she made a presentation, got to visit with her after the seminar. But anyways, this is a dish that she serves down in Mexico City, and she calls it uh, pulled pork in a, in a chili pasilla sauce, chilorio. So chilorio, really what it means is, is just a, a chili sauce or a spicy sauce. And they use primarily pasillas and wajillas. Uh, I found out that that's a little bit strong. The pasilla is for the, the palates or the way people taste them up here. So we've cut it back and we've used some anchos, which still are on the same line of a pasilla. They're not quite as strong of a, of a tasting pepper. So we're gonna make ours using chili ancho, chili pasilla, and some uh, chili wajillo or the chili de casabella. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is, to really bring the flavor out of our chilies, this is one of the, the chili pasillas, y'all can see that? These, we're gonna toast them first. But they're nice and black, they got kind of a licorice type flavor to them. But they are, they are excellent chili. We're gonna toast these up, and you'll see them. I'm gonna start pumping up in the pan, but I'm gonna put four of those in there. These are our chili anchos. Now the ancho actually is a poblano pepper, is what it is that's been dried. So we're gonna to start toasting our, our pasillas and our anchos, and then our chili cascabel, or our uh, chili wajillo is another name for it, you'll hear it called. We're gonna put these in there, and we're gonna to toast these. We can burn them, so we wanna be careful that they don't get burnt. But we're gonna put them in this pan, put them down, and just keep them moving as they, as they need to be moved as they heat up. And then we'll take it and we'll make a sauce out of it. Okay, now our, our peppers are starting to heat up, and you can kind of tell on this close-up how this pasilla pepper is starting to puff up. It's because the air inside of it is starting to swell. These broken ones, they're not going to puff up like that. But these that, are, that are, aren't broken, they get they start filling up with air. So they start. So what we're going to do is we're going to start flipping these. Turn them over. The uh, aroma right now is getting very strong. It's activating the oils down in these chilies. So we're going to flip all these over. You see that starting to turn dark right there? Oh yeah, that white hill is getting real dark. Probably want to keep those in there much longer. But we'll get these out, and uh, then we're going to put them in hot water. And we're going to let them steep with boiling water for about 15 minutes. And then we're going to blend them up. Now, our chilies are starting to puff up. You can see how they've swollen, getting full of air. We're going to get these out, and we're going to get them into our hot water. we got boiling water we're going to pour on these, and we're going to let them steep for about 15 minutes and soften up. All right, we're going to put our peppers into our water. We've got a half a gallon water. And we're just going to steep these peppers. Soften them up. All right, while we're waiting on our, on our chilies, we'll look at the other ingredients we have. I have 12 cloves of garlic. I have two teaspoons of Mexican oregano, a teaspoon of black pepper, half teaspoon of cominos or cumin, and then I have two teaspoons of coarse ground uh, salt. And that's what's going to go in it, along with a cup white vinegar. All right, our peppers have been steeping for about 15 minutes. We're going to check them. All I do is, is pull on the stem. That was not quite ready. If the stem will pull out, okay, that was not quite ready. We're going to let these go just a little bit longer. But when your stem pulls out, let's try this chili cascabel. When it does that, they're ready. So what I'm going to do from here is, is just drop them into my blender. I'm going to put them right in there. And as these others get ready, we'll uh, put them in there. Okay, pulls off. If it pulls off, they're soft enough. And it shouldn't pull off with a whole lot of tension. It should come off fairly easy. Now we're going to get the anchos in there. 
Now some people will uh, take their seeds out before they toast them. They, they take the stem off and toast them. I don't. I leave that in there for flavoring. So we have all those ingredients in there. Now we're going to add our other ingredients. Our Mexican oregano. Coarse ground salt. We use sea salt, kosher salt. I found to work fine also. 12 cloves of garlic. Teaspoons of Mexican oregano, half a teaspoon of cominos or cumin, and then we have one cup of white vinegar. Now, we put the lid on our blender, lock it down. You believe me, on this blender, you want to lock it down. I have not I've done it before, not lock it down. And just go turn it to low. All right, let's check it. It's starting to get kind of paste-like looking in there. It's not splitting it up all the way. But I'm going to take some of my chili water and I'm going to add it to make my paste. So we're going to add this in here. That was about a quarter cup. Another quarter cup. It's got a half cup of chili water. Cover it back up and blend it again. Three cups of water in with it. We're going to blend it a little bit more. All right, let's look at it one more time. I like the way that looks. Looks good. Okay, we're going to take that out now and we're going to pass it through our sieve. Now, what we're going to do is, is we're just going to pass our pasilla sauce through this strainer. Take it and then take a ladle, put your ladle in, and you can work that sauce. And as you can tell, it'll bring us a nice paste right down in with our, our bowl. That's what we're going to use. All this uh, chopped up uh, pepper, the skins of the pepper, the seeds, we'll catch all those in the strainer. But we're just going to keep working this. until all the liquid has come out and all we have left inside is the, is the holes of the, of the peppers and the seeds. We want to get all the moisture out. Take all the flavor. Now, one thing we want to talk about is the pork that we're using today to make our tacos with. Uh, in Mexico, what Josefina does is, is she boils her pork butts uh, with bay leaves, with onions, with I mean, those different seasonings until it's tender. Then they shred it, kind of coarsely shred it apart. Well, to add another dimension of flavor, what I'm doing is, is I'm barbecuing our pork butt. So I'm making a smoked pulled pork. So this is going to have a little more degree of flavor than she does down there. Not that hers is bad. She does a great job. Those tacos are wonderful. I've had them. But this is just a little different flavor that we're adding to it to make our own Texas-style twist on her pork chilonio tacos. All right, now we're going to start making the, uh, the pork with the sauce on it. I'm just putting a little lard in our pan. You can use oil, use as much you want to. Or heat down a little bit, it's pretty hot. Now, I'm gonna take that and I'm just gonna take my pork and I'm gonna fry it in this oil. Get a hot pork to cook. Now, I'm just gonna add some of our chili sauce on top. And I'm just going to toss this pork around in our chili sauce and kind of get it just to, to stick to it. Okay, now I have the meat coated real good. Our uh, chili sauce is stuck to it. That means we're going to go and make the taco. All right, we have our pork ready. We're going to start making our, our tacos. What we're doing tonight is, is we're doing some mini tacos. So we have very small tortillas we made a while ago. 
And I'm going to take and just put a portion of this meat on each one. But I got my meat. And to each one, what I'm going to add is, is I'm going to add some just sliced up Roma tomatoes. Drop two in each one. All right. And then I'm going to put a small slice of avocado. Now, here we have three mini tacos. And again, it's a little different than Josefina did. She did chili pasilla and chili guajillo. We thought that was kind of strong. We're using six chili anchos. We're using four chili pasillas and two guajillos. Anyways, that makes our tacos. They're going to make a nice presentation tonight. And that is, that is a very flavorful, very wonderful taco. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you seeing the Texas Taco Cuisine. Hope you enjoyed our, our pork chilodeo tacos. Come back and see us again next time. Sitting by the wagon when the sun come up this morning. Bacon, eggs, and coffee, biscuits, and beans. Cookie strikes the bell and he rings the world a warning. How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen.